Hi. Let's learn about exposure at default, EAD. Exposure at default is the total value a bank is exposed to when a loan defaults. This means it's the predicted amount of loss a bank may experience if a debtor is unable to repay a loan. Banks often use EAD to determine their overall default risk, and it's a dynamic number that changes as a borrower repays a lender. The probability of default is the likelihood that a borrower will default on a loan, represented as a percentage. Loss given default, LGD, measures the amount unrecovered by the lender after selling the underlying asset if a borrower defaults on a loan. Both PD and LGD are used to calculate the expected loss. The 2008 financial crisis, prompted by the bankruptcy of Lehman Brothers, illustrates the significance of exposure at default. The crisis led to international regulations aimed at reducing exposure to default and improving banking sector's ability to deal with financial stress, ultimately preserving financial stability and avoiding cascading defaults due to overexposed lending positions. Exposure at default is the predicted amount of loss a lender may incur if a debtor defaults on their loan. It is a measure of what the bank stands to lose if a borrower is unable to satisfy their debt obligation. There are two main approaches to calculating exposure at default, the foundation approach and the advanced approach. The foundation approach is used by regulators and the advanced approach is used by banking institutions based on their internal analysis and data. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Exposure at default is the total value a bank may lose if a debtor defaults on a loan. 2. EAD is dynamic and changes as a borrower repays a lender. 3. EAD, LGD, and PD are used to calculate the total credit risk capital of financial institutions. 4. EAD is crucial in assessing financial risk, preserving financial stability, and avoiding cascading defaults due to overexposed lending positions. 5. Legislation and government policies aim to oversee banking industry's ability to manage stress. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.